welcome back to Power of Hawkins Streaming Sundays. Today is... What is today? I've kind of lost uh, track. It's like May 15th. 15th? Cool. Today is May 15th, it's 2016. It's the Ides of May. And you should be watching us on hitbox.tv slash OPE. A link is in the video description for the channel and for the game, which is Civ Five. Caesar is exactly two months dead. <laughs> So I'm playing Civ 5 because Civ 6 was recently announced and I believe it goes on a pre-order today and I will inevitably buy it even though I'm going to tell myself I won't. So I figured I'd play a little Civ 5 to kind of get back into the swing of things. Now I'm going to tell you I'm kind of not great at this game. I'm not terrible um, and I won't ever say I'm terrible. Which Where's my guy? Who do I always pick? Uh, the Shoshone. Yes, that's who I pick. Founded city, start with additional territory. More, and I get a combat bonus when fighting in my own territory. They are incredibly defensive. That's who I always pick. Okay, now that I remember, um, we're also playing on Prince difficulty, which is the neutral. Um, as I said before, I'm not super great at this game. Um, so... This is actually probably going to result in a loss, but that's why I'm playing for you guys, because you guys can help me out, and TC remembered who I play as. So, yeah, so this is how we're doing it. Um, so, it's kind of, um, if I Blessing wanted to... upon you, wise and fearsome Chief Pocatello, revered leader of the Shoshone people. As the young chieftain of the Shoshone, you rose to face a wave of encroaching American settlements across the western United States. Forced to defend the Shoshone ancestral lands from a seemingly endless stream of new immigrants, your war band struck fear into those who would claim... Maybe he looks pissed because he looks European. After years of strife, you well, skillfully avoided... I didn't say that into the mic, though. I was the of the U.S. government <laughs> ...and negotiated a series of treaties in the hope... He's just pissed at all the whitewashing. ...lasting peace for the Shoshone. Most esteemed, Pocatello. Your Pocatello. Again, look to you for guidance. Will you conquer your enemies, driving them far from your lands? Or will you seek out peaceful diplomacy and trade? Will you build a civilization that stands the test of time? I sure hope so. All right, so, oh God. Uh, let's, oh man, that is taking up a lot of real estate. Okay, so... You all know basically how to play Civ or what it's about. We're a country, we're going to be awesome, and hopefully we're going to do the thing. Um, so we are going to name cities after all of you. And even though he could not be here today, we are naming our capital after Kalo. How the fuck do I change to... Uh, is it... Oh, it's edit. Jeez, that's right there. Okay, so... Our capital is Kalo Town. Um, oh, what I was going to say before was I do want it to be kind of audience participation, but the problem is I can't just do, uh, I can't make this like total audience participation because if I did, we would literally be here for all of human history. So we're just going to, um, uh, I'm just going to take your suggestions and the Akamara and I are, oh, I just sent my dude the wrong direction. Um, the Akamara and I, uh, the Akamara and I are following the chat, and we will try to see your suggestions. Oh, you haven't seen the game before, Gore. Um, no, Crowbeak. My point is that it will take us all of human history if I just do like a rotation system, and go like, okay, Crowbeak, what do you want us to do for this one? It, it would, it would, it would take us a while. So, um, so the way I play civilization is very passive. Um, yes, I don't doubt that you would murder everything. Um, so, uh, I play, I play this game very passive. Oh. Hi. Uh, okay, I don't, we don't really, we can't really do anything, so... Let's make a joint declaration of friendship. Give Apparently not. Me. All right, that's fine. Go away. All right, so all we have to do is try to do things. Natural wonder discovered. Choose an ancient bonus from the list. Use this kind of... Oh, culture already? Fuck yeah. 
All right. So I play very culturally and very um, scientifically, but I do try to make sure I have... Oh, there's another there's a city-state over there. Um, so we, we, just, we just need to improve our nation as well as we can. And the opening few turns are my favorite in all of video games where we don't know what the hell... Because, like, our map is huge. I mean, you don't see it on the corner, but the map is huge. We have eight nations here, after all. And we don't know where we are. And getting the lay of the land is among my favorite... Oh, god damn it. I can't scroll left, can I? Oh, that's not good. This is going to sound very out of place, but did you get your Pokermans? I did not get my Pokemon. Pokemons. Poke Pokies. Your Pokemans? Yes. Can I have your DS in your game so I can get your Pokemans? Yes. Yay! Hold on, let me make sure I can... Okay, there we go. If y'all didn't hear, those of you who play Pokemon, in the United States, there's a shiny Xerneas going on right now. All and right. you have until the 17th to go get it, so get after it. So, I learned from the beginning, or from, I should say from trial and error, not from the beginning... In Civilization, the best way to play, the best chance to win is to know what you're doing ahead of time and have every single decision you ever make for the entire game lead into that. So, being as early as we are, and that I'm not overly concerned with culture and religion, but I do want... Um, uh, science, that's what I want... I'm going to look over my list of ideologies and pick something that helps me for science. I believe... I think I will actually take tradition. Because what tradition does is it allows me... Please tell me I picked the right one, because now I think I just screwed myself. Fuck. I screwed myself. I shouldn't have picked that. I meant to pick Liberty. Whoops. Liberty allows you to rapidly um, expand your borders and make a bunch of cities quickly. Tradition's actually the opposite. Tradition is supposed to be for having very few cities. So I done goofed already. But Fromage. it's oh not, a, not a problem. Not a problem. Forgot cheese. Um, what? You and your friggin' cheese. Yes, cheese. Whoa! Hi, Sunghai. Alright. Now, here's the thing. Um, you can usually tell what a leader's personality is by the background when you first meet him. This dude's an asshole. So I'm going to have to watch my West because he is going to be a thorn in my side. We are going to... Uh, no. We're going to convince the remaining population to join one did of our cities. Did you see that Krobik has... I did, and up. yes. Um, that will be city number two. Yay! So, um, oh God. Don't build Sean Town. <laughs> what? Shantown, don't build it. Why don't you want me to build Shantown? Shantown sounds ama Shantown amazing. Shantown is a hive of scum and villainy. Is it? Yes. Is it not adorable and cute? No. With Foxy everywhere? There is exactly one spot in Shantown that is adorable and cute, and the rest of it is just fire and liquor stores. Wow. All right, so let's see. What do we need? We have got a lot of swamps. We need Calendar to take advantage of some of that stuff. That's a lot of we need flies masonry. on the Excuse me? I hope there's not a bird corpse in the gutter. I certainly hope not. Could you help me and read some of these comments, please? Um, Ryu would like his city's name to be Dragonland, and Krovik is calling it a shanty town. Shanty town? <laughs> <Get> nice. <out. laughs> okay, so already I feel like I'm fucking up, but that's to be expected with civilization. Um... Like with RTS games, I tend to boom in civilization, so I kind of start a little slow. Oh, good. I already have a new policy. Oh, thank the. Oh, okay. Smith City is Smitty Hood. Yes, please make a note of all these, because I'm sure as hell not remembering them. And hi, Denmark. You and your Vikings. Please don't destroy my ass. All right, so I am pretty surrounded by people who want to kill me. 
Liberty, best for civilizations which desire rapid expansion. That's what I want. Yes, please. God, kind of fucked up already by taking the wrong ideology early, but that's okay. I will survive. Natural wonder discovered. So we're doing pretty well with exploring. That's another reason I like the Shoshone, because their explorer tends to move faster. Like going, oh crap. Going um, up and down mountains is and through forests is supposed to take more movement points, but it doesn't happen for the Shoshone. Okay, if I attack them, I will probably take a minor victory, but it's not worth the cost, honestly. And you can automate a lot of what is going on. Like, you can automate exploration. I do not like automating exploration. I like being able to point my peeps where I want them to go and make them go that way. I don't take more than... I know! I know! I screwed up the first tree. That's what I was explaining in the beginning, actually. I didn't mean to take the tradition tree. I meant to take the liberty tree. So I'm ignoring tradition for the rest of the game. Uh, I did not mean to make ta pancakes, take it. Pancakes, is that your city name? Pee pee cakes. <laughs> I mean, okay. All right. Um, yeah, exactly, Crowbeak. My first, uh, because my first tree was fr or first tech tree was free. It doesn't overly hurt me. But I need to get a worker going like freaking now. He's taking forever. Okay, I also need mining, which I think I have. I have mining. Remove jungle. Where's calendar? There it is. I want calendar. Yeah, I bet you look forward to serving me again. This game is so different in normal view. Yeah, Crowbeak usually... God damn, I already have another policy. Crowbeak normally plays in strategic view, which is this. And not only is this a lot less taxing on your computer... But you can see, um, well, you can see st the st just the uh, strategic resources like here's marble, here's bananas, here's sugar. You can see all this at a glance, rather than sort of squinting and mousing over just everything. But I like this view because it's pretty. Um, Crowbeak is always about function over form, and I usually am too, but sometimes not. Production in every city and plus five production when buildings or tile improvement, construction rate increased by 25% and a worker appears near the capital. Yes, free worker. Jesus, I'm fuck. That down. Yes, please, free worker. In fact, because I have a free worker, nah, I don't need to go for a wonder yet. May as well go for a second worker. All right, unit, you need to do some things. Um, we are going to start hacking away at this jungle here. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to do that. I want trees. Oh, Kirby yeah. explained why she usually stays in tactical. Oh, uh, what is it? Sorry, I can't see the screen. When she moment. first got Civ Five, her computer was so far below spec that that was the only way she could play. Oh. Now she just likes it better. Huh. That actually makes a lot of sense. All right. And yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it takes very little um, computer effort to render some hexes and be done. Um, oh yeah, I played Civilization 1 as well, Crowbeak, but I played the Super NES version of Civ 1 when I especially didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, so I'm glad I'm a wee bit smarter. But Crowbeak is also better at this game than I am. She and I have tried to play this on numerous occasions, but we've never actually completed a game. We've only, uh, we've only, um, gotten, like, a bunch of turns, and then we, one of us just has to quit for whatever reason, so it is what it is. Is that a forest? That's a jungle. That is a forest. Choose production. Granary. More food, which means more peeps. And you guys can keep exploring, because part of the reason you need to explore heavily in the first part of the game is you need to plan where you're going to expand. And in fact, once my granary gets done, what is going on over there? <laughs> once my granary gets done, I'm going to start going for, um... Kirby has a lot of direct replies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, there was an SNES version. It was... I don't know how awful it was because, um... 
I sucked at it, so I would be a very terrible uh, judge of how good or bad it was. That said, I enjoyed it. I just was terrible at it, but I was also a baboo, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Baboo John. So I think um, I think I played Civ 1 on the Super NES, and I played Civ 2, 3, 4, and of course 5 on the PC. You want me to give you 30 gold for an embassy. Okay, why don't you let me make an, an embassy for you too? Because it's not going both ways for some reason. Is it because I don't have... No, I think I'll pass. I could just not have the technology yet. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly... Well, me too, Crowbeak. Me too. I am just the worst. At okay, I don't want to make... I don't want to give money to any of you. Fucking calm your tits. Give us some money. Give us some money. All right. Now you... Let's see. Sugar and bananas. I need calendar, which comes in five turns. Can I make a mine yet? Can't remember if I can make a mine yet. I... Won't you give us all your money? Can make a mine. Okay. We want all of your dosh. <laughs> <laughs> is that can can you build a snowman or whatever yes i see oh shit no 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 we need it we do not want i almost made another rookie mistake you don't send a settler out unescorted so rather than making a settler we need to make ourselves a uh we need to make ourselves a warrior first so he has an escort um yeah, I heard that too. I was going to get Civ Revolution because the more I read about it, the more I was interested in it because it sounded pretty good. It sounded really good for being a console game in like Civ Lite. So I was pretty interested, but I just never bit the bullet of it. Um, the SNES version, I don't know how rich it was, but it was pretty detailed. Like it had quite a bit of, um, whoa. Hi. Thanks. Austria. I mean, Florence. <gasps> anyway. Oh, Florence. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, the little symbol beside Florence says what you get if you ally yourselves with them. Uh, and Florence has a specialty of culture and I do want culture. I didn't mean to ever imply that I didn't want it. It's just not my main priority. But now that I know that Florence can do it, I'm going to try to hook up a road with them. And then we will start trading culture to each other. Or rather, I will suck culture out of them. Which is better for me, because I need to suck some things. Okay. And now we're going to set up some archery, because... I don't trust... Okay, hello, Iroquois. Peace be with you, too. See ya. I don't... Okay, so there are four other nations at least who are near me. And that is a severe problem if... Yes, yeah, so we are going to build a calendar here. And the warrior is going to fortify. And we're going to bring the worker here. And he's going to start... I can't build a road. I need the wheel. Son of a... Bitch. All right, well, I guess we'll bring him here. And let's get another warrior going, since clearly we need some military units. All right, so here's... Hmm, I kind of want to set up a city about here. Um, part of strategy games is knowing the balance between not only getting resources for yourself, but also for denying the enemy to have resources. And I tend to enjoy playing the game of denying the enemy resources. So, um, enemy nations cannot breach your borders without asking for either um, open borders or declaring war on you. So, given the fact that we have Iroquois here, that means the Iroquois cities have to be south of me somewhere. So, if I can get a city set up here and then cut off a little bit of land here 
then they will be unable or it will be very difficult for them to pass me this way. And it'll be difficult for my neighbors to the north to pass me this way. And it will give me a very strong position in the center of this landmass. Would you like to make a roadblock? <laughs> because um, I also want to deny them the ability to cut me off. So we are going to try to cut off this area. So we are going to adopt policy. Oh, each city you found will increase culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal, which means the earlier we get representation, the better it's going to be for our culture, which I need. Yes, adopt it. And now we have activated what is called a golden age, which means we get huge bonuses for just about everything right now. So we are exactly Crowbeak. Exactly. That is how I play this game. Some people are more aggressive than me. Probably better players are more aggressive than me. I am just me, and this is how I play. But we're still going to look around here. Um, we have a couple decent city setups. This one's kind of poor, but extremely defended right where my mouse cursor is. Although we can go a little bit over here. How do I turn that? I turned it off. Is it W? What did I just click? Oh, God. What is the hotkey for turning on? Let's see. Could you do me a favor? Look yep. something up for me. Yep. Oh, never mind. I just reread the... So if I have a civilian unit, then this shit pops up. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, Maybe Crowbeak knows. Is there a hotkey to turn on the tile yields? And turn them off, of course. But I just need to toggle them on so I see what I'm doing here. Because I kind of want a city here. But a city here would be okay. Display tile yields. No yes. Option. No option. Oh, that uh, sucks. No. Someone's asking, no option? I'm looking it up. Oh, gotcha. Shift R and Shift Y turn on and off the tile yield icons? Shift R. Sure doesn't. No. Is that a different sieve? Uh, yes. <laughs> that would do it. Sorry. That's fine. Five. Fuck you, five. All right. We have a warrior. What so now stuck. Are we are going, going to make a settler, and I am taking this warrior one step uh, over. Control Y? Control Y. Nope. Shit. All Stop right. Stop lying to me. Hi, barbarian encampment. You Fudge. Oh, holy crap. You have Varan also is culture. I need to get both of these guys happy. What do you want? Yeah, control. It says control Y is yield icons. Gold gifts are temporarily more effective. Oh, okay. Here, have. Never mind, because I don't have 250 gold. All right, screw you. So we're doing all right so far. You can see the leaderboard over on the right side, although uh, it looks like the chat box is slightly control R. Yes. No. That's useful, but I was more hoping I could get the icons that says what's the food and what's the uh, not food output. Like when I have a civilian unit, I see the food and I see the outputs like one food, one production, two food. Oh, control Y. Oh, God, I should have just read the rest of your stuff. I told you that. Did you? Yes, both of them. It's not working. That's weird. I wonder why it's not working. I'm hitting control Y. It's doing nada. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter, because right now I'm more concerned about... um. Oh, hello. I don't know who that is. All right, you guys just fortify until the settler is ready. Who is that down here? That is... Oh, those are the Danes. Okay. I could have swore I said control. I don't know what's going on. She may have. I might be losing my mind. Oh, 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 see this? This is great. Um, There's a barbarian settler. But bar I'm a barbarian! But barbarians don't make settlers. That means the barbarians captured a settler from one of my rivals, which is great because now I can capture him 
and either ransom them back or just convert them back to my side or just ignore them entirely. Uh, why does your down button suck? Uh, Where's your B button? I don't know why my B button sucks. That has been an issue for a while, actually. Okay, worker. Head over here, I guess. Cut down those trees. Marble is now available in Kalo Town. And the city of Kalo Town wants citrus. Well, Kalo Town can go screw themselves. What? The can of air? The you can know of air is back where it belongs. I know. Shit, I'm not getting up. <laughs> Wow. Kill the lab. Uh, kill. The okay. Um. You need to chop down a forest. Man, two workers this early. Incredibly useful for me. According to TC, settlers turn into workers when you capture them. Unit promotion. Settlers turn into workers. Well, that's fine. I'll take a friggin' free unit. That is absolutely fine by me. And we're going to wipe this unit off the map. Okay. Uh, did you get Krobeek's E? Try just Y. Oh, just Y? Yay! Oh, it's so pretty. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, it feels so good. They look like little stoplights. Okay, so let's look. So if I set up here, actually, if I set up here, I'll have a lot of food around me. Hmm. And it'll be a coastal town. It probably won't take that long to link them. I kind of like it. That'll that'll be a really defensive town, too. And halfway between both of those city-states. Okay, and we're going to set up shop on this hill. Um, But we first have to get over there. So, we'll come Our in six names turns. names in Pokemon always drive me friggin' nuts. Okay. Smooth Junior. <laughs> oh, my Pokemon names. Well, what do you expect? Some semblance of class? Again, what do you expect? You know me. Uh oh, barbarians. So, this is why you never have unescorted settlers. Ooh, that's not good. Are you standing in hills? No. Okay, come into the forest, because you'll get a defensive bonus, and then we'll heal you up. And then we'll start hacking away at this barbarian area. Actually, I should bring my other warrior to get over there, too. The back of your DS field Shrine! Faith Stone works. Uh, city must not be in plains. Walls. Shrine. Faith. Faith is good good early. Let's get a shrine going, and then we'll also move the warrior down here. Let's bring him over here. It's going to take him a while. I don't like having my cities undefended, but right now it's kind of necessary. Okay, and my worker I guess can build a firm because he can't build a road yet. And Pathfinder can say it can wait until healed. TC is all Pyro. Why you know mess with religion? Um, I do. It's just not my upper priority. Um, I what? I fell. Oh, it's god damn it! I need my warrior select. There we go. All right. So or yeah, my warrior selected. So I got you your shiny so, gear. Hadouche and Hadouche. A douche. And you guys can move two tiles, which scares me, because that means these guys are right within range. I'd like to get you right within range. Let's oh! move you this way. All right. If I remember right, there's a... Whoa. No! No! No, 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 no. Oh, maybe I can't do a... um. Uh, Songhai is now protect. Whoa, everybody, chill the fuck out. Songhai is now protecting Yerevan. Okay, that's fine. An enemy unit has been spotted in our territory, and Kalo Town can shoot it. Well, it's just gonna have to. Damn it! All right, I guess I'll have to bring my warrior back to the north. It's not what I wanted to do. Ryudi is enjoying this. 
Yay! Good, I'm glad. Why can't you clear the jungle? Because you don't have fucking... Oh, uh, God. I'll get over here and build a plantation for bananas, at least. Okay, warrior goes this way. Settler goes this way. Who is the first one to ask for a town name? Kobe, I think. In Wait. Finality. Fuck off! I don't want to accept embassies until I get to see your embassies, and someone is ahead of me. Stop. It was Jonathan Smith, I think. Okay, what's the city name he wants? Because he's about to get Smitty one. Smittyhood. Smittyhood. All right. These assholes are starting to destroy my stuff, you dinguses. I don't like you very much. Why can't you make a frigging plantation? Bronze working technology. God damn it. Well, we know what our next uh, priority is. So I guess just come over here for now? No, no. Stay there, actually. Skip your turn. And then, so check this out for those of you who like strategy games. So here's my warrior, and I can attack the barbarians. But that's stupid, because there's a river crossing over us. And by me attacking them, they gain a defensive advantage. In fact, by hovering the mouse over here, you actually get to see all those numbers broken down on the left side. I lose 20% of my attack power just by attacking over a river. So we're going to let our guys hop over the river. They're just going to hang out for a minute. And meanwhile, we're going to take this group and slowly move them into this foresty jungle or jungly forest. And uh, we're going to try to get first place back from unmet player who this must be across the sea. Foresty jungly forest. Indeed. Should have moved your warrior into the city. They'll be at a disadvantage attacking the cross. Right. Yes. Okay, so you guys get shot in the face, and my war- my- okay. I'm trying to see what the s closest- I guess it might as well be here. Alright, just go ahead and make a road. Okay, warriors, attack! They still are at a disadvantage since they had to fight up a hill, but it's not nearly as bad as going over a river. So, we are doing okay. Choose production. Um, let's start... Ooh. 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 Expansion is important, but so are wonders. Uh, TC and pancakes are out temporarily. Okay. All right, let's... Ooh, 10% all growth and 15% when building ranged units. Okay, yes, we're going for the Temple of Artemis because I want that ranged unit. Um, we will also alter people so they will focus on production. Good. Now the Temple of Artemis will be done in 16 turns. Woot! Although Kalo Town is not going to expand in that time, but I consider that a worthy trade-off right now because we will be expanding, just not in Kalo Town. Woot! All right. So, and indeed that, um, as Krobeek said, losing that mine hurt me, but I'll get it back. People that like to smile the most. We're at the bottom. We have the least happy people in all the world. Welp. They should, uh... Shouldn't have been born a Shoshone. Exactly. Hey, there we go. All right. So, we just wow. murdered uh, those barbarians, so now I'm going to bring those warriors back down south, because I want to try to get that worker. How dare you not choose your parentage, says rich person. <laughs> Alright, and then my pathfinders can take this unit out. Good job, guys. Way to play. All right. Looks like we are doing okay. Kobe just called you a somber mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is how we play. That's for damn sure. All right. And Haboosh. Can I and brag haboosh. about the thing you got me? Yes, of course. Kill some commentary Pyro time. Pyro got me a foxy poster. Yes. I already had one, but this one is bigger and foxier. And I'm going to hang it up in the bedroom. Okay. Oh, shit. I wonder if I can even set up a town there, even though I said I wanted to. 
because that might be too close to another city. Hmm. Pyro is concerned, because I think I have to be three tiles away from any other city. And, uh-oh. That's kind of not good. All right, Settler. Nope, can't build a city. Four tiles. Shit. All right. Um, I have to be four. Isn't G the grid lines? Yes, okay. One, two, three, four, three, two. Oh, god damn. I'm going to have to be like... Uh, this was a bad idea. I'm not building cities over here. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, shit. <laughs> I really want a coastal city. I guess we'll get one eventually. I don't like being landlocked though. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to back up a little bit. And wish I had done the calculation. Okay, and then our Pathfinders will go attack the Archers, because we will get an advantage since we are on foot. Suck it! Okay, sweet deal. Tekuru's then... here! Tekuru! It's been a while, buddy. He hasn't posted, but he is here. Hello. Hi. All right, uh, let's see. Even if you're quiet, we are happy to see you. Yevaron is under attack. Well, whatever. We've got this shit. All right, we've got it on lockdown. That archer unit is about to be incredibly unhappy. Yay! All right, now we've got two units ready to take over that little patch and meanwhile we're going to keep moving west with our settler until we find a place to post up man i can't believe i didn't calculate those numbers out i think i'll still be able to cut them off though uh cut off my enemies that is cut off my rivals okay moving on we're actually moving at a fairly decent clip um i think i said at the top of the show a standard civilization campaign takes about six hours, so uh, it's not like this is going to be quick. This will take multiple um, streams for us to do, but it'll be fun, and as I said, I get to the Great Lakes new. I tend to underthink them. What? Oh, she was referring to... Okay. I'm with you. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay, Pathfinders and Warriors just fortify for a minute. Alright, now can you settle? Yes! Okay, this is as close to the coast as I can get over here. So what's my city name? Uh, Smitty Hood. Smitty Hood. Alright, Smitty Hood the city is now city number two. And I do have some control of the borders here. I need to cut off the west as well. I should probably move down here so I can get those horses and elephants within range. Horses. Um, and then we're going to bring this warrior down south because I want to start picking at him over here. Okay, Smitty Hood. Let's get a granary going. Correction, let's get a monument going and then a granary. Um, granary. It's a thing that creates grand. Take that back. We'll do granary first. Okay, and writing. Yes, thank you. Writing, please. I need us embassies established. And now I'm back at the top of the score. Good. That's where I should be. Just like in Mario Kart. Because I am a professional gamer. Oh, it's too bad Sparkles isn't here to destroy That's your self-esteem. That's precisely why I said it now, since she's showing up later today. I'm, I'm gonna tell her you did that. Don't tattle on me. I'm gonna tattle on you. Don't tattle on I'm me. I'm going to narc on you so uh, hard. <laughs> Someone already hit the goddamn classical era? Oh my god. What are we doing wrong? Oh, we're the backwater part of the country, the world. Ah. Oh. What the hell is going on here? So what happens when you can sort with a white man instead of killing him? Anyway... Let's see, we're gonna, I'm gonna save up that turn too. Alright, an unknown civilization has started worshipping a pantheon of the gods. Pantheon, they have chosen god of the sea. Well, good for them. 
You want me to pay you 30 gold a turn and all of my horses for sugar. No, no, no. Oh! Wait, I've been looking at this the wrong way. Okay. Wait a minute. So they'll give me money and horses if I give them sugar. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, sure. Take it. Jesus. All right. That's actually pretty damn good. It's a good trade. Good trade. Cleo's telling her to. <laughs> Aw. Whoa. Those barbarians died fast. And we have a new policy. Plus one happiness for each city you own well, that is connected to the capital. And minus 5% unhappiness from citizens in non-occupied cities. What? Or plus one production in every city and plus five production when doing buildings. Okay. Um, happiness is okay at the moment, so we're going to go with this bonus. So now everyone gets to produce everything a wee bit faster. And we're going to bring this worker back over to the mine and repair it. Since frickin' Jerkface McGee decided to pillage it. Like a Jerkface McGee. Alright, everybody gets to attack this barbarian base. Yay, barbarian base! Pastel Gore, is there any other way to stay up late? Uh, excuse That's me? best way. Oh, uh, watching anime? Um, I was watching our series on, um, UN Squadron today. Yay! We have captured a civilian unit which belongs to Denmark. We can re return it to them or take the worker ourselves. We are going to take it. And we get Mons. Okay, now I could be friends with Denmark, but I just friggin' gave them a trade, so they should be happy that they got a trade. Are, 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 are there gonna catapult Danishes at us now? I mean, I'd be a little disappointed if they didn't. What a way to die. All right, we are going to oh, shit. get these uh, warriors back in cities. I want danishes and also tacos now. Oh, God, tacos sound good. I'm doing everything to ruin my teeth before my cleaning. All right, Pathfinder, I guess you need to keep scouting. And then Worker, we're going to bring you back over. And yeah. All Tennessee right. apparently has lag. Um. Oh, fine. You're fine? Yeah. Is the feed fine? Is everybody... Other, yep. uh, I've noticed your relationship with Yaravan. Well, that's nice. It would be best to leave their protection to us. I'd hate for either of us to step on any toes. We're sorry this has caused a divide between us. Well, I, I can't... You can't be upset... That scared me. You can't be upset at me for saving their ass, so shut up. Just deal with it. It's too bad our protection is better than your protection. Jerks. All right, so. Hey, Marie, it's too bad about your mom. I wonder if I can make that declaration on Malaka. Whatever. I don't care. If I can make that. Yes, please repair that. Okay, good. Okay. I'm in first place, but the score doesn't really mean much in civilization. Um, It's a decent. Oh, that's where it is. Whatever. It's a decent snapshot, but it doesn't actually give you a super huge amount of information. Um, I have done very well from third place before, and I know that you can lose first place very quickly. Please make a mine yes. Please come over here. Choose research. Oh, okay, so what do we need to do right now? Um, Punch babies? Really, Yakamura? Is that is that what you need to do? You need punch to punch some babies. Mothers. <sighs> Let's uh, drama and poetry, philosophy. We need to get into the classical era, but we don't need to get it right at the second. Um, let's do sailing and then trapping and then philosophy. Because that'll get us through the ancient era and into the classical era. And then we can go from there. Alright. So, let's see. Who? Oh, warrior. You get to post up here in Smitty Hood. 
And then, oh, next turn, Temple of Artemis will be done. Hopefully that, oh, in fact, no. goes off without a hitch. Askia is under classical era. Maria Ther Teresa has... A See, we are lagging rather significantly here. Um, but we got the Temple of Artemis, so now we're going to start pooping out archer units everywhere. Ew. And <laughs> this worker needs orders. Let's start farming a little bit. We also need to start pushing our expansion as well. Um, I need a coastal city. Uh, I, I can't not have a coastal city. So I think this spot would be pretty good because this is coastal <laughs> and it would cut off the west. So we're going to oh aim for this God, area. I'm a bastard. Look at the comments. So instead, we're going to build a settler rather than an archer. Okay, what? If you haven't punched a baby yet, it's past time. Punches for everyone. Maybe <sighs> punching is a pastime. You know, I have to admit, there was a CNN story a year or two ago that uh, talked about a dude who got arrested for slapping a baby on an airplane. And I know that's a terrible story, but I cannot deny the fact that the phrase slap a baby is absolutely hilarious to me. And I feel like a jerk. But it's too funny. I love slapstick. Hey, Paul, you want to go baby slapping? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, anyway, I'm not sure where the lag is for you, TC. Sounds like no one else is having too many problems. And my feed looks beautiful. Um, so... Yeah, I've turned off my video feed. See if that'll do anything. Whoa. You've met Singapore, okay. Oh, writing down your name in the <gasps> thing, Cleo. Cleotopia? Nice. Yes, we are making a third town. Um, I think Crowbeak was next yep. on the list. Crow's nest. So, whoa! Sto oh, Stonehenge. God, I hate that noise. It sounds so dire. Wow! It's like... What's the I mean, deal with Stonehenge? I mean, commit to it if you're going to even do it. It's killing me that no one knows who built this fucking labyrinth of stone. There you go. Who the fuck builds a stone hedge? There you go. Two stone age guys wondering what to do. Who just said, dude, let's build a henge or two? Are, are you happy now? Are yes. you good? You, uh... You good? I am so good right now. All right. Uh, wine and incense. Okay, so we get to found ourselves a religion. and oh! Let's make Scientology. It's so lucrative. And here's a list of all the things we can do. Um, so, like, for example, if we did, oh, say, <laughs> this one, God of the Open Sky. Plus one cultures from plus one culture from pastures. Great, except we don't have any pastures around here, so it'd be stupid. So let's see what else we've got here. Plus one happiness with a high population. Plus two science and cities with a city connection. Now we are talking. Like I said at the beginning, every decision you make should go toward your overall goal. Our overall goal is to be science. So, plus two science and cities with a city connection is what we need to do. And that also encourages us to make just all of the cities. We need as many cities as we can get. So, that is what we are going to do. Uh, a couple players have now entered uh, the classical era. So, we are not behind in technology, but we are also not at the top of technology. And I don't like that. I like being at the top of technology. So... I don't care for trespassing in Singapore. What are they going to do? Complain? That's pretty much all they're going to do. Barbarian hand axe. Uh-oh. Uh, warrior, kind of need you over here real quick, buddy. Especially since we're going to get a settler out here. Aw, oh, I got a 10 out of 10. Yay! Well, it's because you're a damn good singer. Just fucking Shh. accept it. Practice. <sighs> Practice Just my butt. Just Wait. practice all the damn time, and you'll be better than me before you realize it. Oh, please. All right. Uh, 
Yes, make a firm here, please. Thank you. All right, swing you around over yonder. TC, the real question is, why aren't the rest of us purple? Why must you be so lucky? What? God damn it. The hell is going on over there in the chat? <laughs> oh, TC came back purple. Yay. Also weird. Also, What happens when you shit. cut through the Mountain Dew factory? Ooh, great library. Yes, let's get that shit going. All right. Um, Once this granary gets done... I am getting like 50,000 texts all of a sudden. Maybe you should stop being so awesome. It looks like they're all from Sparkless. Uh, she sensed that you were pro-gamering. She... <laughs> Smell it. Oh, she is going to be unhappy when she gets here. Okay, warrior. Kill this. Uh-oh. Never mind. He's actually kind of strong. We need to get archer units done. I think I might be going um too hard for wonders. It's actually bad to just go balls out for wonders because it leaves you vulnerable. Like right now we have no military. I I've got two I've got two warriors and a scout and that's it. And that's oh god. Even Yay, thank you, classical era. Took us long enough to get here. Maybe we were dead last in the classical era. That's not good. Our science is hurting bad. But hopefully we're working on that. We just need to kind of keep going here for a bit. I'm also running out of cash mons. <sighs> Unit maintenance, building maintenance, tile improvement maintenance. Stop throwing shit at me! Alright, we need to get some of our military units over here to help out. Did you see that Krobik is upset that they nerfed the Great Library and the Pyramids? Uh, did they? Uh, apparently. How so? I do not know. They just did. One player, finally. Yes, I accept. Yes, thank you. Yes, I want open embassies with everybody. I want to be friends. I really do. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Austria. Okay. Um. Okay. Could you guys please stop throwing shit at me? What did I ever do to deserve this kind of anger? Uh. Charge! Ow. Alright, now we're talking. So, soon I'll be able to start my normal defense routine. Because right now we've got nothing. At all. We also need to start getting money going. Yeah, it sounds like Sparkless is having some problems. People who like shiny things the most. That's richest countries and Jesus, Askia. Holy fuck, you are oh, loaded. There we go. Krobik has elaborated. Okay. Pyramids used to accelerate production by insane amounts, and the Great Library gave you two free texts or something. Huh. Yeah, too bad that got nerfed. Ow. Slaughter the barbarians! Slaughter the barbarians! You know what's awesome about paying your student loan bills really early? Okay, now that that's done, my settler can finally start making his way to the west. What's that? You can bump your payment back when you need to. What? Um. Like... It's not going to drain my account, but if I pay my medical bill and my student loan bill this week, I will be pushed pretty low to my limit. So I push my stu student loan bill to my next payday, and then I'm going to pay this thing on this payday, and then I'll have some money to send to you and some money for gas and junk. I see. Okay, we need to get money going. Why is Why is philosophy being... Budget! Oh, isn't that what I ordered it to do? Shit, I need money too badly, though. All right, we're going to we're switching to currency. Philosophy's fine and all, but we're out of cash. 
All right, so you guys are going to come here, and the settler is going to meet up with you, and then this warrior is going to head over to Smitty Hood. Yeah, we are hurting badly on money. You will give me horses if I give you sugar, and you will also do an embassy. They do not have the technology to establish an embassy. Um, okay. I will accept that for now. I've got a lot of ho uh, horses. Uh, Kirobeek was mistaken. Pyramids allowed you to completely restructure your government whenever you wanted. Oh, wow. Oh, that makes sense why they reversed that, because they changed the way governments were even handled after one of the expansion packs. Alright, so where did I say we are setting up shop? Uh... Here, so I'm within range of the sheeps and the elephants and the cows. So, here. Here. Yeah, here. Ooh, but that's pushing against their borders. They're not going to like that. Okay, well, they're just so, going to have to fucking deal. We're going to... Leo, what you're saying is disability is a mixed bag, basically. What? She's telling me how disability works. Oh. If I get disability, then and I have student loans, the government will cancel them. But if you receive social security, it's garnished. Huh. Okay. Finally. All right. We need to get money coming in. So. And we need defense. All right. Archers. Archers are now going to be the priority for that city. And that's not good, because that throws off my plan. One, two, three. So I would have to set up shop here on the bananas. Okay. Good deal. We are going to set up shop on the bananas. We are going to have a banana republic. <laughs> All right. But seriously, we need money. Are we, are we going to get spiders, too? What? Banana spiders. They're deadly. Are they? And awful. I need to start making some trade routes. That's the other thing I don't have going. I can't remember what I need to make that happen either, but that would be... Five key. Why do you stick? Great. Oh, hi, barbarians. Um, we're just going to leave you alone. Okay, worker road. Okay... What am I researching? Oh, the Great Library. That's right. Two turns. And then I will be able to actually explode with my military and sitch. <sighs> okay. Snark. Eh? Explode with your military. Um. Okay. So this worker... What are you, a Spartan? ...needs to get a trader out to Florence. And this worker needs to get over here because he's going to be one of the ones to help this city out. Crow's Nest or whatever. Okay. So do you guys think I'm doing all right so far? Those of you who are Civ veterans, I think, yay! One free technology provides a free library in the city in which it is built and it contains two slots for great works of writing. Woot. Okay, free technology. We will obviously pick the most expensive one, except maybe not. Hmm. Getting philosophy early would be useful, and I think... Never mind. Philosophy. Alright, so now, how long will it take for an oracle? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, man! Oh, God, I need those social policies. All right. You ended up on the crowded as fuck continent, didn't you? I sure did. All right. One plus one happiness. Yes. Plus. Uh, or speeds the training of settlers in the capital and a free settler appears. Fuck yes. All right. Free settler. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Worker, I need you to. Crowbeak says get optics. Actually, chill the fuck fuck out for a second. We are going to move over yonder. Alright. I need to take a look at where City 4 is going, and then I need to slow the hell down. I guess City 4 could be here. That'll put him within the lake. It'll put me right up against 
Eris. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit. I can't even set up shop there. Oh, man. They are choking me out. Um, I guess we're going to have to go north. Actually, having a river city isn't that bad of an idea. So we'll set up shop over there. Okay. So you need to come over here and start building me a road to the left. And you as a settler need to come this way. I need to get my warrior over here to escort that settler. And Pathfinder, I don't know what the hell I'm going to have you do. And Worker, you need to start building a road to Florence. Oh, you already have. Wait, no you haven't. No, you are. Okay, sweet. Okay. We are at five gold, minus five gold per turn, which means some of our military units might start randomly leaving our uh, people. So I need, or country, so I need to be real careful right now. Bring our scouts this way. And you're going to keep building a road. And Settler is going to keep moving this way. And so I think I can, yes, I can city here. Okay, so what's the next city name? Crow's Nest? Crow's One nest. word? Yes. So like that? Yes. Crow's Nest. Yay! All right. And, and in Crow's Nest, one... we are going to build some walls because I have a feeling shit's going to get real on the south. The next one will be Dragonland, requested by Ryudi. Sweet. I will not remember that. Okay, Warrior. That's what the notepad's for. I need you to post up because you're wounded, and we are good. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, Worker. Um, Road. Next turn. Oh, that's true. I can manipulate my peeps for more money. Um, I guess I could do that over in Kalo Town, actually. I think Kalo Town is still set to, uh, yeah, production focus. Um, I'll switch them back once we get some more stuff here. Uh, once we get that Oracle built, or if it fails. What happened? Who needs orders? Oh. Pathfinder, ho! Settler, ho! Actually, hold right there, Settler. Have cause... you read all of Crowbeak's advice there? I have not. She's not only flying with the advice, but my eyes are kind of glued to the screen at the all moment. Right. So you'll have to kind of... Philosophy isn't a bad choice. You know you can adjust your town's allotment of citizens to oh, yeah. tiles. What place are they in? Iroquois? Yeah. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and apologize, but... I don't really care. If he wants to start a fight... Oh, shit. Actually, if he starts a fight, I'm not sure I can finish it. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay. A lot of things just happened. Alright. These guys need to die. I'm going to bring the warriors out to protect that... worker unit. They'll be fine. Pathfinder can move up. We're going to keep building roads. Okay, warrior can move up. Settler can move up. I'm going to post up right here because I want that river. I don't want to get too far away from the capital. One of the problems, not really problems, one of the mechanics, I guess, is um, especially early, the more cities you have, the more it costs uh, in both money and happiness. And it's, oh god. Oh shit, I can't reach him. Yeah, we'll just cover him. Um, Iroquois is in the southwest. What? Iroquois is in the southwest. And Pastel Gore, like, advises you to apologize and then stab him in the back. Oh, oh god, yes. That is, that is absolutely happening. Um, but, oh, hi. Didn't expect to find a city there. That throws off my, uh plan a little bit. Anyway, um, shoot, what was I saying? Crap, I don't remember what I was saying. Never mind. Oh, the more cities you have, the more it costs, so it's actually bad to expand too early too fast. I might, in fact, be pushing it right now. I might be pushing how fast we're, um, <gasps> 
excuse me, um, I might be pushing just how quickly we're advancing. I might be going too fast. So I'm going to hold after four cities to sort of consolidate my power. Um, and try to get my defense going, because that is one weakness I have at the moment. I just, like, if I'm attacked right now, I'm it's going to hurt. I might not even survive a concentrated attack. And I want to make sure that the uh, Iroquois don't get any wise ideas. So, um, yes. Even if you're not directly on the river, having tiles attached to it in your city influence is still useful. You really need a coastal city because you're penned in. Yes, I do have a coastal city now. Crow's Nest is a coastal. Um, but... And I was really hoping that would and be a city. And Crowbeak but... says you can probably manipulate your citizens to get more monies. Yes, I know. That is not an over concern right now, but yes, I know. Like I'm, I'm getting there. What? Scientology. <laughs> so so far so good. Okay. Uh, yes, as Crowbeak says, I'm definitely pushing it. I'm pushing my. The, I'm pushing the absolute limits of my uh, spreading out here. No, because, again, I'm kind of playing a game. I know. But what about the envelope? This is what you're doing. Yes. That, yeah, I'm put... Thank you, the Akamura. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without you making the most ridiculous puns ever. I pushed it, guys. That's the joke. Do you see what I have to put up with here? Every day. Every day. Every hour. Every minute. Every every nanosecond, yes. This is I probably pun at you in my sleep. Probably. Alright. Yes, build a road and you guys just skip your turn. And there we go. There's City 4. Alright, what is City 4? Uh, City 4 is Dragonland. Dragonland. Dragonland is operational now. And now I am definitely going to stop <laughs> expanding, because good god, this is about as far as I can get. Alright, but I do need to protect myself. Oh god damn culture. Uh, but I need money. Oh, and I need to protect myself. Ooh, water mill. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so even though we have a load of unhappiness, we are going to be able to counter that once I get another social policy. And I should be, let's see, you should make crow's nest to pirate town, all ships and warriors. <laughs> Might just do that. Oh, God. Okay, Pathfinder, please retreat. And... Let's see. You're good. Warrior's fine. Choose production and smithyhood. Um, let's get... God damn it. I need not... Or I need money. Come on, currency. Research faster. All right. Um, Florence is having some issues. I have to... Actually, I should send this archer unit up here. Ryudi is so excited. Let's send this archer unit you know, to protect my warrior. Why is he excited? Oh, Dragonland. Yay! Kirby All right. wants you to make Krosnus the center of your military might. Sweet. Pillage, rape, and burn! I mean, what else are you going to do on a Saturday? All right, we're going to bring this warrior back home. We're going to bring this Pathfinder into Dragonland to heal. Warrior skips his turn. Oh. No, he doesn't. Okay, Archer. Attack these guys. Just hold tight. Construct a road. And Warrior move left, west to cover that worker. Sorry for not responding very often. I am paying attention to the chat as best I can. I just gotta pay this goddamn bill or it's gonna drive me up the damn wall. Yeah, it's cool. Militaritary. M militia Terry. That's that's how she spelled it. Militia Terry. <laughs> Losing gold. Who oh, knows? Alright, Pathfinder, rest until healed. Warrior. 
I guess just head into Crow's Nest. I think that group should be fine. And then that worker does a road. This worker has done a road, so now I am hooked up with Florence. So this war this worker is gonna get the fuck out of here. So he's gonna run over here. Oh god, he's still very much in the open. Alright, never mind. Man, come on. I need social policies or and or and currency as fast as possible. Come on, game. Let's make it happen. See, this is why you cover your vulnerable units. They may have clubbed a couple of my archers, but they're not going to have a fun day in a second. All right, we're going to move him over here. And my archers are going to shoot and probably eliminate this bandit unit. Sweet, and Florence is happy now. All right. And hopefully Florence likes us. Because that way we can grab some extra culture. <sighs> Looking at the leaderboard, we may be in the, as Kroby called it, crowded as fuck continent. But. Do you have a pen? We are in a strong first place compared to our next rival, which is Hiawatha. So we are actually doing quite all right. Um. Yes, I have a pen. I'm trying uh, to. I'm trying to dig it out without looking. Probeek is crying because of the typo. Uh. Pyro, maybe you could cover that up with something in the post for the YouTube cut, like a snake. Did Did she just tell me to zoom in on her typo and then frame it with snakes? I think so. I think so. There you go. All right, YouTube cut achieved. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Kalo Town. You're in good shape. Two more turns for the Oracle, and then, even though I've said this three times, I'm going to try to stop building shit in Kalo Town. Oh, God. We have so little money right now. We are just bleeding cash. All right, so. Aw, her that response. Has... <laughs> as long as snakes happen. Okay, I will yeah, make that happen. Send you a giant box of snake skin. All right, jungle. Um, I can't get a. I think I can get a pasture. I'll have to head over there and see. And then you need to build me a road. Okay, we're doing all right. I think I keep telling myself that. Yes, thank you. Please. Okay, the problem is, you can see how much military presence he has over here. It actually kind of makes me nervous. Yes! Free social policy! Thank you. Thank you. Dear God, thank you. All right, that paid off. All right, we are going to pick the final policy of the liberty category. That'll cut our unhappiness. And, all righty then. Let's see. Choose production. Yes, market, please. God. All right. Um Optics. Yes. <gasps> Great person. Great person. Hey, 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 hey. See this see what this unit is called? So like, if you make him, you can go send him into another country and cash him in for money. So you can turn your great profit into a great profit. And we're picking the great scientist. All right. Good job, Kalo Town. Okay, now Copernicus. I'm going to go eat some Taco Bell so that, like, I can sit on your lap later and just let out the most noxious taco fart in your thigh. Why? Because you punned at me. You want to give me money for sugar. Done. Because I need money right now. Okay. All right. All right. That's scheduled. Great. So I still have like no milit. Whoa. Didn't mean to zoom out that far. I still have like no military units. Ooh, we are near the north. Uh, All right. You know that great sense of relief you get when you like pay your bills? 
Uh, maybe that's yes. just maybe that's just an anxiety thing. But holy shit! <laughs> I mean, My it's goodness. always good. I could go outside right now and buy some tacos. Flip the shit out of a truck. But yeah, I can buy some tacos <laughs> now too because I am no longer a whore. You're no longer a whore. A poor. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. All right, so Hiawatha is my only super villain here on this continent. So what I'm going to do, although Askias isn't making my life much easier, but he doesn't... See, okay, here's what's making me nervous. And we're getting, we're getting our Pathfinders back. See, the game doesn't cheat. See, Pastor Gore said so. My puns are better. The game doesn't cheat, and if you look here, we have a problem in Dragonland. There's, thank you, computer, fucking stop scrolling. We've got a spearman unit here, a warrior unit here, an archer unit here, and a warrior unit here. They're getting all up on. So they have three units right on my border. So I need to start producing military units and send them over there. Because if this goes to hell, I need to have a, uh, I need some defensive units ready to go. So what are you guys doing? God, what does a fortress take? I need engineering. Okay, engineering is going to be our next priority because we need to start making some forts because shit's getting shit's about to get real. The problem with me automating things, Crowbeak, is once I get them automated, I'll immediately start freaking out about it because what if they draw too much money? What if I set it up wrong? What if this? What if that? So I just manually pay all of my bills. I'm the same way. Like, I need to have control over my money. So I don't automate anything unless I have no choice. Um, it's just the way I do things. There we go. Money and horses, says Kirby. He gave you horses. Yay! Um, but yeah, like... The subscription things like Netflix and Hulu and WWE Network, those are all taken out automatically. But, like, all of my bills, I make sure that I do it myself because I don't make very much money. Yep. I have my student loan bill payment automated, and I even rip my hair out about that. Yep. And there are problems over in Dragonland. It's entirely internal, Kirby, because, like, I accidentally, like, had a few things set up to auto pay out, and then some shit happened, and then I got overdrawn. Oh, yeah. That was a sad moment it, for it us. It wasn't even your fault, uh, like... Yes, uh, it was. I accidentally no, not, bought the thing on the... the second overdraft, because I oh. sent too much money, and then it took out the monthly service fee, because I wasn't making enough money. Way to keep the poor's poor! Or some shit. <laughs> And then I overdrafted again for, like, four bucks. I see. But it, like, plussed out at the okay. end of the week, so whatever. All three of my cities are connected to Kalo Town. So I'm getting the science I need, but... I am having some defensive crises here. So we're going to get our archers over here. Because I want to have some protection. And now they have some trade units moving. Alright, we need to get trade units going as fast as possible, too. So, let's take a look at the menu. And what is a trade unit? Guilds? No. Horseback riding caravan... Wait, can I make caravans now? Wait a minute. Can I actually make caravans now? Hold on a second. Uh, Archer, come back over here, actually. Get behind the river. Yeah. Crowbeak has this for some bullshit. My bank will only apply the monthly service fee if you, like, direct deposit less than 500 bucks in your account monthly or you hit a certain money threshold which is, like, super fucking high. It's, like, five times our rent every month. And, like, so... that's was fine and whatever when I got the account, because, you know, I made that much, but then I started losing hours at work because we weren't making as much money. So then I stopped making as much money, and then, like, it took out that monthly service fee, so I made even less money. Ugh. 
Well, is that I, right, Pat? Because I'm like, Fifth no. Third doesn't do that shit, does it? No, that is Fifth Third. Really? Yep. Why don't I ever have that kind of problem? Because you make a shitload of money. I, <laughs> I do not make a shitload of money. Let's... Comparatively? Well, okay. You make more than 500 bucks a month. Yes. Yes, I do. Thank God. And that's it. But, but, I may or may not be getting my next six month raise. I don't know how my performance is going to be rated. But I am getting a lot more hours. That's good. I have posted over three times as many <laughs> hours as I have been getting. Which is Sick. awesome. And I'm learning to do new work at my place of employment, which is great. Okay. Crow's Nest is building walls. That was a bad play. And Kalo Town needs to switch to default focus. Oh, which I can't because I'm still between turns right now. <sighs> See, they've still got... They're still building up a military presence on my west border. Um, so if they attack, I'll have an excuse to go in and beat the shit out of them, but I do not want to attack if they're not going to. All right, so... Yeah, I've been getting a lot of, like, emergency, emergency shifts lately, too, which the way I got my shift yesterday sucked ass because the guy who usually filled it lost his mom. Cool but, focus. like... They needed someone to fill in, and they had everyone in the store, and they went to me. That's nice. I got to learn how to make mushrooms. You want to know how we make mushrooms? How do you make mushrooms? We open a can, and then we strain the juices, and then we put them in a thing when it finally finishes draining. You want to know what the juice they store our mushrooms in smells like? What does the mushroom juice smell like? Absolute hell. Yay! <laughs> it's nasty. And I learned that, like, we can prep most of our toppings on the fly if we have to. Ooh, composite bowman. Okay. And, like, the hardest thing to prep is our sauce, because we have to mix a bunch of stuff. And it is, like, arm-numbing work, mixing all that stuff, because you gotta, like, slowly fold it and keep stirring it. Aw. Because our sauce is, like, solid. Ew. Alright, I have three military, correction, four military units in the theater. Yeah, Kurobi, it was their five? pretty bad. Like, good. the way I got that shift, like, he called in the night before and just, like, called up the manager, or GM and our co-manager, and he's just like, I lost my mom today. And he is a great dude. Like, he absolutely did not deserve that happening to him. And if I remember correctly, she had had a heart attack, and, like, she was recovering from a heart attack, and it happened again, and just, like... Jesus. So that's tragedy on top of medical bills, on top of a whole bunch of like bullshit that he's got to deal with because I think he was living with her. So just like that guy's life is falling the hell down. And unfortunately, like if he can't come into work, everybody relies on his station throughout the day. So I had to come in. And that guy is damn good at his job. Alright, I want culture. Give crow nest, Crow's Nest a barracks! Military might! Okay, I will do that, because I need some military somewhere. <laughs> hey, if I misspell barracks. military more, will you zoom in and snakes it every time? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Wait, no, because then you'll intentionally misspell it like 40 times. <laughs> and I've got shit to do. All right, we're, uh, you gotta get over here. Come on, engineering. I need to start building forts. Badly. Sorry for that silence. Not only did I not want to interrupt you, but I got a little, uh, shit got difficult for me. So, or I need to concentrate. Um, shit. I need fishing boats or something. Yeah, like, we all got the news and, like, it got around, because of course it does, and it was just, like, really freaking quiet in the store. Ah. For, like, a solid hour. 
Militia Terry. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh, so you're all okay. Iron, sugar. God, I don't know if I want to give you... <sighs> Wait, no, you're giving me iron and money. What am I worried about? Yeah, take my goddamn sugar. Jeez. Hiawatha's... Blue, he says. Hiawatha's the number two, but he's not really a threat. These assholes are threats. I don't like how many military people they have on my border. Three warriors, a spearman, and an archer unit behind. That's not good. None of that is good. That is all very bad. I need to... Uh, okay, we gotta work with there. Oh, no, you go over here. That's what I need you to do. Oh, man. I don't... Ugh. The computer does move its units with some logic, so seeing their units shift around like this is making me really nervous. Alright, caravan, thank you. Establish trade route, thank you. Okay, so... Let's see, I think that me my revenue... One gold... Okay, so it's arrows pointing to the right are my Speak revenue. They're great merchants, start the conflict. So, let's see. I need money. So no matter what I do, I'm getting plus one money. But if I trade with whoever, Arathus, I'll get plus three science. I'm okay with that. That's the highest science rate. So, yes, I am sure. Um, I'm thinking about running out to the taco store. The taco store. So, ask Sparkless if she wants anything from the taco I'm store? currently actually writing, or uh, playing, so you ask her. I don't even know what she's been texting me the last hour. What time is it, anyway? Oh my god, it's almost been two hours since we started streaming. Um, oh, just a, just a normal merchant. I don't have any great merchants right now. The only great person I've got is that science dude that I just sent over somewhere. Okay, now we're going to work on guilds because I want to try to get trading posts, which will help us recover our cash mons. And then I should, at that point, be better off. Should is the key word. At least we got more science coming in now, too. We don't have much faith, but whatever. Oh, just one text, I think. Did you text her? Not yet, but I was going to let you read that first. Oh, is it something I need to read? Wow, yes, thank you for not reading that one out loud. Yep. All right. Um, whew, a little toasty up in here. All right. Ugh, I don't have any soda. Whatever, Hiawatha. Have fun building a useless piece of shit wonder now. Okay, oh my god. Just everything is popping up now. All right, come over here. I think I can build a lumber mill. All right, pyramids, Malacca, whatever. Player construct pyramids. Iroquois is ally of Singapore. Treasury is empty. Crow's nest, whatever. Okay. Crow's nest desperately needs some food. It has very little food. Very little. All right, it only has a 0 0.8 food. Well, Crowbeak, you may have a bunch of pirates and solid walls, but goddamn, you have uh, no food at all in your town. So I'm going to try to take care of that nonsense. Oh, wait, shit, yeah, do that. Shit. Okay. Forgot to <laughs> eh, what's going on? Oh, I forgot to log out of the third. Oh. While I was doing my funds. What does Florence want? Florence, Florence wants their needs machine. Citrus. Oh. So they can become a band. Well. Screw you, Florence. I need science too badly, so you can go screw yourself. Choose production. Can you make a caravan in seven turns? Not what I want. Please make some composite bowmen. Thank you. Dragonland has marble, and the Danes are going to give me money and horses for marble. I'm okay with that. Money and horses and horses and money. Uh. <laughs> so many hossers. Um... <laughs> well, we're pirates. Time to go raiding. You can actually make um, privateers who basically are neutral units, even though they stay under your command. 
and they just drive around and shoot people upside the head, so it's fun. So fun. We'll be making some forts over here. And do I only have two workers in the vicinity? Oh shit, I should actually make another worker. Wait, how many? I have three workers, that's it? Oh god. Well, once Kalo Town's done, they can make another worker. Because now that I have to concentrate on defense a little bit, I need more workers to work the work. Yeah. Words! I can words! You sure can. Alright, good job, Caravan. Um, please... Let's see. Civilization name. Oh. Highest science. Plus two, plus two, plus three. Oh, so do I want the delta? I don't know what that means. Okay, so plus three science. Yay! And you get to make a worker in six turns. Okay. It sounds like it should be an England-only unit. Composite Bowman. Composite Bowman, I think, is the um, unique unit of this, of the Shoshone, if I remember right. Like, that's why I pick them. Zanzibar, long... is for culture. Workboat! Yay, workboat! Making fishing boats! Okay, crow's nest. Workboat, make fish boat. Barracks for crow's nest. Done. It's gonna take a while, but at least crow's nest is gonna start actually... We're gonna... What? Whatever. Anyway, crow's nest is actually going to have some food in their bellies now. Finally. Poor crow's nest. They are so hungry hungries. Oh, oh, okay game. Whoa, don't scroll... Yay, I'm in the medieval era! Fucking... Fr Whoa, it's 75 AD? Maybe I am ahead of the game. Crowbeak says no privateer. Privateer? Um... Oh! Well, didn't Spain have pirates, too? I mean... I think so. About anyone can have pirates. Let's see. Let's build a wall here. Chinese had pirates. Did they? they? Ass pirates. Oh, yeah. There was this one lady... Did you just say they had ass pirates? Badass pirates. Oh, badass. God. All right. There was this one lady. I can't remember her name. If anybody knows it in the chat, let me know because shame on me. But she started out as a brothel worker. And then she became a pirate. And she was so fucking awesome at it that, like, I think the Chinese government, like, was afraid of her legit. And then she, like, quit pirating at some point and then opened a brothel, and then that was her goddamn life. Awesome. <laughs> what? She was a madam or she was a prostitute? Uh, she was a madam. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Hiawatha is starting to close the gap. And for that matter, whoever is over on the other side is closing the gap, too. Whoever's on the other side of the ocean. So yep. we need to be careful here. Go. The difference between privateers and pirates. Oh. I see. Neat. I learned a thing today. A horse. My kingdom for a horse. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, I guess drama and poetry, because nothing else is really helping us at the moment. Okay. Unit needs orders. Oh, fortify. All right. We're kind of in a... Yeah, I think, yeah, it was Sir Francis Drake who was, I think, the most well-known privateer. We're kind of, um, in a stasis here at the moment. Because I'm basic- Jesus Christ, Francis Drake, you were, through history, kind of a dick. I'm basically waiting until somebody makes a move. Because I don't know what's even happening at this point. Uh, Smitty Hood. Hey, Composite Bowman. Alright, Composite Bowman. Uh, well, I guess keep coming left, because dear god, there are a lot of enemies over here. King Philip II offered a just at about 4 million and in the US, 6.5 million for his head. Do, wait, do what now? Sir Francis Drake was a hero to England, but an absolute dick to the Spaniards, and the King of Spain put a price of $6.5 million adjusted on his head. You like pirates, don't you? A little bit. I'm surprised you never played Pirates. The game, which I own. God damn it! I knew it, you son of a bitch! 
Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. God damn it. And we are not ready. Shit. Shit. You finally started being a showed. Oh, I knew it was coming. I was watching their military build up. I knew it was coming. I just wasn't able to... What the fuck? Oh. Must have been a barbarian. I knew it was coming, I just didn't get a military set up fast enough. Um, okay, well, you need to heal instantly. And I guess start... We just... Oh, god damn it! we gotta reduce their numbers as fast as possible. Shit. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Francis Drake also did some really drunken circumnavigating. Um, all right, we're going to bring you here. We're going to bring the archer unit into town. This might be a shorter game than you anticipated. Why are you making XD face? Rude. Rude, Crowbeak. So rude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm fairly decent at fighting defensive wars. I'm not terrible I at say, it. I kind of wish you could terraform so you can just make a giant butt in Crow's right, Nest. Come on, Kalo Town. At one turn. Who are you guys attacking? Oh, whatever. Um. Okay, Asikia plundered the trade route. Austria announces it's now protecting Buenos Aires. ASCII has declared war on me. ASCII has declared war on me. Enemy unit took care of that. Songa has founded a new religion. Austria is no longer an ally. Okay. So, Dragonland is making walls. I can't take them off that. Composite bowmen are on the move. Kalo Town is one turn away from a worker. Freuda. Wait, Crowbeak's taking <laughs> pleasure in my pain? Is that what you're saying? I guess. So rude. So rude. All right. Keep making that thing. Okay, here you we go. You should see if you can rename Crow's Nest to Rude. <laughs> Butt Nest. Bart Nest. You have plundered 100 gold from the caravans, and I got an achievement. Yay. God damn. Yeah, I might just resign and quit at this point. I wouldn't if I wasn't playing this for a stream, but it feels like I'm so screwed at this point, I may as well just quit. But, well, not yet. Let's let's play this out. Okay, this archer needs to come here, but can't. This archer needs to withdraw so he can heal. But all spaces are occupied. Oh, wait, no, he can come over here. Okay, this unit, let's bring the Pathfinders in here. Verizon Wireless, would you like you to know that your phone storage space is low? And then go here. All right, there's one unit down. I mean, it's not much, but bring this unit up. Composite Bowmen need to come up. The Pathfinders are basically throw away units at this point. Who's here? Oh, the archer unit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you guys hold position. You guys fire at will. Okay. I have a worker here. Why don't you make a... Mm, shit, I don't really have anything for him to do. Uh, I need another. Let's see, I don't want to convert another piece of land into frickin' a fortress. So you're just gonna have to chill out for a minute. Okay, come over here and start chopping down those trays. Ryu D says Dragonland will not fall! We're gonna try to make sure that is true. Okay, more composite bowmen? Yeah, right now we need we need units. Um, so composite bowmen. 
Okay, and then the city of Crow's Nest can shoot these assholes who just took out my fishing boat. And Composite Bowman is just going to have to skip his turn for now. You mean the city of Butt Butt? And this worker can start building trading posts, get our money back here. <sighs> okay. All right, that's that's all we can do right now. God, I only barely managed to get enough of a military up to defend myself. The interesting thing is, if you look on the chart on the right, Askia is in the bottom for how many points he has. So all of his all of his points are in his military strength. So if we can weather this attack, it's going to be really hard. But if we can weather this attack, we're actually going to be in okay shape. We're going to be okay if we can weather the assault. And that's that's the tricky part. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. Oh, man, this got exciting. All right, so Composite Bowman, I need you to move up in... Can you move here? No, okay, come up here. Too bad that you're out of moves now. All right, Archer. Can't hit anybody. Damn. Um... All right, warrior, move up. You will not attack. This archer unit will move up. And we'll hold. This unit will move into the city. I just upgraded them, which I shouldn't have done. I clicked the button and I shouldn't have done it. Oh my god, I didn't realize I had that much cash on me. Yes, fucking upgrade. Hell yes, okay. And then yep. you guys fortify. Robic says if you beat him here, you should be able to steamroll forward and actually just take him out of the game. That is correct, Which... except I do not have any siege units. And that's what is catching me, because I did not I don't have the chance to build any siege units yet. Um, that will be my next priority once these walls come up, because Dragonline needs a little bit of defense right now. But yes, this is always the risk for a rushing player, and that's what... Basically, any of the countries that have the fire background, they are rushers. And if you can survive their initial onslaught, you're going to be okay. But like it's... Surviving a Zerg rush. That's it. That is exactly it. You're surviving a Zerg rush. But see, do you see how much military they have over here? I mean, I can only... I only have so much defense... And I have to make sure Zanzibar doesn't attack me, because if they start pincering me, I'm going to not be having a fun time. All right, you guys need to retreat. Let's see. Wait, can you guys just attack? Oh, not well, though. Yeah, oh, that is an enemy unit. Shit. Oh, man. Oh, this is so hard. Okay, let's attack these guys. Okay, that unit's done. Oh, we're not at war with them? Well, shit, why the fuck? Ugh. All right, you guys attack these guys. I'm gonna have to... God, I don't want to sacrifice my Pathfinders, but I might have to. Krobik says, you do have a crap ton of archers, and of course I have started having trouble with the stream. Aww! And yes, indeed. Well, it's not me. All I've got open is one tab of Google now and <laughs> notepad. Um, but yes, I do have a crap ton of archers. This is, And remember, I get an advantage by fighting on my territory. Like, this is why I do it. Um, this is precisely why I do that. Because now I can fight a defensive war. And I'll be our... Okay, this composite bowman Three needs to, to know if heal. you could sweet talk Zanzibar into helping you out. Zanzibar? Uh, no, because they are only a city-state. I'd have to give them a shit ton of money. Um, I could try talking one of my other... The other... Like, I could ask Hiawatha to help. Um, I could ask Selzibar, Selzeberg, uh, Austria, to help me. Hey, what would it take for you to declare war on fucking Askia? There is no way to make this work. Well, you suck. All right, and Hiawatha's too far away. And you swallow is her immediate rebuttal because <sighs> she used to parlor shit. Shit. And this unit is at about half strength? Is that what I'm seeing here? No, that's the experience bar. Where's their strength? Oh, that little icon. 
Yeah, they're almost dead. Okay, so they're just going to hold off. All right, come on. Man, maybe I shouldn't do the walls. The walls don't really matter, do they? Oh, but it's going to take so much, so many turns to do anything else. Okay. We're just going to have to deal with this. Uh, Crow's Nest, how about you make units? You are going to be too slow making units as well. I would rather just have you finish off the barracks and then make units, because then we'll at least have some strength working for us. Okay. Science advisor and economic advisor advise civil service. I... Farms automatically are plus one next to fresh water. No, we're going with theology. Because I want the Hagia Sophia, or at least I want the... What am I worried about the goddamn faith for? Never mind. Civil service. God. Okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Everybody just shut up in the game. Okay. Um, hi. Great. While you're here, uh, can I... Denmark? Excuse me. <laughs> Shit. All right, here comes the next Rude. roll. Ow. Trade with us. Okay, hey, could you? We're leaving. Shit. That's pretty much what exactly what happened. Oh, God. Well, the Pathfinders are pretty much dead. Wow, they are still alive. That is impressive. That is incredibly impressive. Maybe I should... God, I'm arguing with myself with what to do here. Um, wow, Cleo. Way to kick a man when he's down. What? What happened? She's saying, wow, how professional, John. <laughs> professional gaming talk. All right. Splat. Okay. Crowbeak says fortifications for the win. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I didn't have if I didn't have fortifications here, we would be super fucked right now. Um, yeah, just take that unit out. I don't know if I should be attacking these guys or if I should be going after the archers. Because the archers are doing... Well, they're not actually really doing anything, come to think of it. Alright, fucking never mind. Okay, um... Fuck! Uh, Shoshone's... Okay, Dragonland. Dragonland, Dragonland. Um... Fairly weak unit. You know what? make warriors because even though those units are weak even though warriors are weak right now i need numbers to counter their numbers my composite bowman can do most of the heavy lifting i just need additional targets to distract them if that makes sense yes set the pathfinders to heal says kirby they are they're fortified yay I mean, that's all they can do. They're about to die again. Or still. Oh, man. I want to get this Pathfinder out of here and replace him with a stronger unit, but I don't have any units in theater right now who can. Like, I can't switch their positions like I want them to do. Okay. So, you guys attack. These guys... You guys attack these guys. And you. Ooh. Defense against all range attacks. Yes, let's do that. You just keep staying fortified. Now you guys. Let's start shooting some of these archers. Because the archers are doing a lot more of the damage than their foot units are. Which is very strange. And this composite bowman is at about 60% health. I could actually get him in theater very quickly if I... On the next turn. I'm going to have to violate Zanzibar's borders, but whatever. Okay. Losing that fort position would hurt. Yeah, exactly. Um, they're just going to have to hang on for a minute. See, it's the archers who are picking them off. It's not the... Oh, they're going to go down now. 
Oh my god, they're still alive! How? It's like you start playing Taps and it's like, do, do, and then he lives and there's just this research. Just, do, 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 do. All right, we're going to move, we're going to move the Pathfinders over here for a minute. We're going to move this archer up. He still has enough points that I can attack. So we need to hit, yeah, we, we've got to take their archers out. Their archers are doing the damage, not their front. There we go. All right, and then fucking build a goddamn trading post. I don't have time for you idiots. Composite bowman, yes. Okay, Smitty Hood, get me a catapult. Who needs promoted? Pathfinder. Oh, 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 heal instantly. I don't like burning it on a heal instantly, but right now that's what we need. Okay, and then this archer can hit... Uh, yeah, take them out. Or damage them, rather. Okay, Composite Bowman, please come up to the front lines as fast as humanly goddamn possible. Okay, and then this... Okay, our Composite Bowman we pulled in the past should heal up fully in the next turn. We can get him in theater over here, or over here, and he can actually start contributing. Okay, guys, I think we're going to be okay... I was going to end the stream after only about an hour and a half, and one more turn struck me. So we're going to keep going until this war at least figures out what the hell is going on. Uh, hold on, warriors. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my west is or my left flank is going to fall. Yep, there goes my left flank. All right. Oh, my God, they're still alive, too! Man, the Shoshone are tough sons of bitches. All right, man. Yeah, holding that fort. Oh god, those forts. The Shoshone. Oh are my like, god, us, bro! And your enemy's just like, okay, we will. And then they beat the shit out of him, and the last remaining Shoshone gets back up, and he's like, "That's all you got, bitch." <laughs> I haven't moved the warriors forward because I just want them to hold the line right now. I'm far more. I am infinitely more concerned right now that they are. Um, Sorry, I'm infinitely more concerned right now that the th that I don't have enough numbers. Like, that's my problem right now, the numbers. I need the numbers. Um, I'll worry about tactics in a second, but they're hurting me way too badly with their numbers right now. Okay, you are currently standing in plane, so I will increase your thing for open terrain. And now you can start attacking, yes, take out units at a time. Goodbye. All right, you guys. Uh, range strength and rough terrain, open terrain, defense against ranged attacks. Let's just heal you up, and then we will start attacking their archers again. And you guys can hit these guys. Okay, now, the warriors. What am I going to do with you? Because just leaving you here isn't a good idea, but I'm kind of pincered you. Well, warriors, you've done good, but I have a feeling you're not going to survive the next turn. And we go. Reinforcements are on their way. Yep, they're gone. Oh, man, they did. They held on so long, though. And we just got 100 gold because we stole it from their caravan. All right. And it looks like they're in retreat, which is hilarious. So we're going to be a little cautious here. Um, Crow's Nest, please give me a... <sighs> You're so far away from the front line right now. Tell you what, get get me a composite bowman, but that'll be for defense. You then... mean butt butt? Exactly. Okay, we're gonna upgrade <laughs> this retreat. unit. <laughs> yes, he just retreated. Um, but I can't. Bitch. I can't really fight back right now because what the fuck. I can't really fight back at the moment because they've got me. Like, I don't really have a front, so I can't really take advantage of Did this. Did you just put fucking sheep on your flank? What? 
I didn't put sheep on the flank. That's where my unit died. The English took my land and they put sheep on it. So the city is here. I need to bring this unit forward. I don't... Oh, God, I hate pushing like this. I hate pushing in blind. Um, worker. I don't care, buddy. Do whatever you want, I guess. No, wait, go over here and make some food. Okay, composite bowmans. Yes, let's let's push the line, I suppose. And then you are resting until healed. Okay, we have some semblance of a front line. Okay. We'll see what their move is now. Because now I'm not sure what they're going to do. I kind of hope they come at me again. And that is the problem. Yep, that is a serious problem. Their city is very well defended. And they just nearly wiped out... Oh, maybe they did wipe out. Yep, they just obliterated one of my units. So, I can't chase them because I don't have a front line. <coughs> like, I always fight defensive wars. So... All right, well, at least we can take these guys out. So what I need to do is leave my archers back in their little fort homes until we get shit organized here. And then we can worry about where we're going. All right, so... Kalo Town is going to change to Spearmen. No, they're not. Let's see. Fast and powerful early in the game, weak against Spearmen, but I don't really have... Let's see. Strength 11, strength 12. Let's start getting horses made, and Kalo Town needs to switch to production focus. Okay. All right, so now we are in better shape. Okay, you should probably avoid putting dudes in Zanzibar's territory. You should have moved up the Pathfinders back to the front and shored up your defenses until you move more units up. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll bring the Pathfinders up into these mountains over here. That is an excellent idea. Yay, civil service! That doesn't really help me right now. We'll go Yay. with ironworking, because I think swordsmen... Yeah, strong front line. Okay, yes. Okay, workers, I don't even know what I want you to do at this point. Strong front line. Uh, okay, Shoshone Pathfinder needs to move up. And moves I up don't and the hose again. believe we can actually reach any more units right now. Yep, we're kind of fucked. All right, so... Only kind of. Only kind of. Let's move these guys up here. And let's get move these sure. guys over here. Bass. And you guys can... Get the bass. We got the bass. <gasps> All right. So many bass. Listen to them. They go bear. Don't you... <laughs> <laughs> Are you having fun, the Akamura? Bass. All right. There goes a unit. Okay. Um, Beak says she's surprised you didn't go with iron in the first place. Well, I didn't have military priorities. I have been surpassed, so I don't know what's going on in the other continent. But whatever is going on in the other continent, I'm getting fucked. And okay, should not have brought the composite archers over here. Or maybe I should have. Can I actually reach them? That would be hilarious. I sure can. Screw you guys. Okay. You hear that? That's the sound of you getting fucked. Move them up. Uh, farm the for the workers. The war, what? It was in the middle of the war. <laughs> what was in the middle of the war? <laughs> the last time you had tech come up. Oh, was it? Oops. <laughs> All right. Oopsie poopsie. What? Oh God. I'm gonna have to violate Zanzibar's borders again. Or still, or whatever. Okay, Dragonland. 
Zanzibar is all mock surprise. <gasps> you have violated my border, sir. That makes me uncomfy. Sorry. Excellent in exploring and fearsome in combat. Are you really, though? They are doing pretty well, but Pathfinders may as well keep making some. All right. So you guys just hang out. So I have one horseman on the way and one catapult, or one horseman and one catapult are being built. Crow's Nest is still building an archer unit for herself. And I guess that's all I can do. See, I've been dragged into an unnecessary defensive war. I kept my expansion promise. Oh! Oh, now you want a peace treaty. Fuck you! And you'll give me dyes and truffles. <sighs> I'm not in a position where I can beat him down. And I'm not entirely sure... If, what do you guys think in the chat? I won't make this decision yet. Because I'm thinking, I'm not in a position to actually wipe them out. So, if I say, if I accept the peace treaty, then, yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. Not only is he offering me stuff for nothing back. Good stuff. But this will, uh... I, I don't have the strength to wipe him out, so there's no reason for me to do that, to keep this going. Okay, I accept. All right, so now that the piece but is... you better believe we're up in the shit out of that military. Oh, well, yes. That is absolutely happening. I mean, I'm leaving these units here. I am absolutely leaving these units here. So... We're just... Okay... Okay, so I have a warrior who's no longer useful. So we're going to move this warrior over to Smitty Hood. And so I'm going to withdraw the warriors. Because the warriors can act as defense. Kalo Town can finish making some warriors. I will continue producing a catapult, but we will keep making pathfinders for the front line. So when we are ready to counterattack, if he decides to get antsy, we'll be ready. Sneeze. Phew. Holy shit. Okay. Yes. Defensive wars for the best. This is how I play. I want to flip him off so badly, but it might destroy international relations. Yep. <sighs> Fucking twat. It's what you get. You dick. All right. Is he amassing shit on your border again? No, I, I, well, I think he's, um, I think he's consolidating his power at this point. Like, I don't, I, I, I really don't think he's in a position to do, oh my god, we are losing a fuck ton of money now. We are losing money from <sighs> unit maintenance. Okay. Let's not build any more units then. Let's uh let's try to get our money situation fixed because we're hurting too badly here. Um no one expects the peace to last. Let's uh <laughs> All right. Let's Oh god. All right, let's get some caravans going. Yeah, I don't expect the peace Ryu, to last either. Ryu insists that we nuke him later. I mean, what else are we going to do with our time? Not nuke him? All right, there we go. Well, I mean, we could masturbate, but what is that? Really? Mean? The Akamura? Really? Yeah, why not? It's a perfectly natural thing. <laughs> All right, it has been two hours. I'm loving this game, but now that the war is over, I think this is a good time to stop. Um, we do have plans later tonight, so we will we'll do an after party, but it's going to be a really short one. Um, Oh, my Probably, is the best. because once Sparkless gets here, we have things we need to do. So, um, let's. Oh God, now I don't even know what to do. We need money, uh, badly. We need money badly. Um, <laughs> see, what? No one threatens Dragonland and gets away with it. No, Crowbeak. 
Also, title improvement. Sean's right, though. We totally could. Could what? Now I've lo- Oh, masturbate? Well, I mean. Yep. Can I just say my timing is impeccable because I make that masturbation joke and you're like, well, time to pack it in. <laughs> you're all ridiculous. Okay. Um. So. Well, I mean, we could. All right. We're going to get this catapult over to Dragonland. And the warriors are moving. Okay, so... God damn. And we're not in a position where we can really continue spreading, although I would love to put a city, like, right about here. Just piss them off a little a little bit. Oh, crap. What? Are, wait, what? Oh, they have Islam. Okay. Alright. They're, they're playing religion. Alright, that's fine. Well, I guess we could just expand here upset the Danes a little bit, but who the fuck cares about them? They're useless. Okay. Um, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, this will be a good place to call it. We will resume civilization next week for damn sure, and I really want to click next turn and keep going, but I'm going to be good. So, um, it, think about our military situation. Here, I'll even zoom out. Ooh, that's a kind of cute. Nice view. Not cute, but nice view. So this is our current situation. I'm not overly worried about the Iroquois, but I think we should think about getting some units over there in the short term. I don't know why I'm having such a money crisis. I've never had this bad of a money crisis in any of my games before. So we're going to have to fix that situation as fast as possible. But at least in the short term, our borders are secure. Askia knows not to mess with us. And Kalo Town, Smitty Hood, Crow's Nest, and Dragonland are in good shape. Also, Dragonland, great name for a city, given that it was on the front line and survived that onslaught. Good stuff. I can't believe I had a moment where I'm like, maybe I should quit and start over. Oh. We held our own. Okay, so if you are watching this on YouTube, you should join us every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern on hitbox.tv slash LPE. A link is in the video description, as is a link to Civ 5 Brave New World. Which I, I, well, I guess the link is going to be to Civ Five, but they have a bunch of expansion pans and you should totally buy the expansions because it really expansion adds to the game. Pans. Expansion um, pans! And of course, this is all to get me ready for Civilization VI, which is going to be out, I think, at the end of October. So that'll be fun. But regardless, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should, or the Hitbox, you should stick around for a very short after party. It's only going to last until 11, so we're talking uh, apparently half an hour. But if you are watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week for another stream. We Bye. will see you next week for another stream. Yes, thank Check you. Out Sorry. That innuendo in the chat. Okay. Yay! <laughs>